Hello and welcome my friend to this little video, this little tutorial where I'm going to show you how to remove, how to safely remove tape, masking tape from your watercolor paper. My name is Ida Anderson Lang. I am an artist, an online art teacher. And yeah, today I'm going to show you how I do that because I make a lot of watercolor paintings and I do know that it can be really daunting and really risky and tricky. I'm going to show you all my tips for removing tape safely from your watercolor painting. So this is one of my recent paintings in watercolor or it's actually in mixed media with watercolor. Uh, pen pastel and color pencil, but that really doesn't matter. The point is that I am to remove the tape now. I've been really looking forward to, to do this on video to show you how I do that. First, um, the first thing is that I wait quite a while uh, before I start. So I'm sure that the, the painting is so, uh, really, really dry. Um, it's been sitting here maybe for a week or something. That's not necessarily uh, necessary, <laughs> but give it some time because that's that's a good thing um, so that you don't have any more moist in the paper that can warp the paper after you remove the tape. So um, the second thing is what tape you use. Now you can use any tape you like, but I prefer um, to use window masking tape. That's typically a blue tape, comes from different brands. Here's one brand. It's um, Tesa. That's a little bit light blue. Then uh, there is another one here. I'm from Denmark. This is uh, Danish or actually maybe I think it's a German brand called Flugar. Same thing, but it's another color. It's, it's another, you know, it's another tape, but the quality is the same. You can, you can recognize it by being blue, bought in you know, a painter's, like a real painter's shop, and it goes off um, quite easy from the paper. So that's tip number two. <laughs> Use a tape that is um, created for safe and easy removal. I'm going to show you exactly how I do it, but it does matter what tape you use. So you can see here on top of the blue tape, I have a blue tape underneath. This exact tape is from uh, 3M, that's another blue tape, Windows tape, I have different brands, doesn't really matter that much. It's more like the quality, you know. And then in this case, I've added um, normal painter's tape on top because I like that color better to look at it when I'm working. Um, but that's it. So uh, in my case, I can remove the first layer first. Can you see that up in the corner here? That's pretty easy because it doesn't touch the paper. But I'm going to do that first. So we get down to the tape underneath. And already here you can see that I'm peeling away from the painting. I can see it's started to slip here actually. Um, but that that's, it doesn't do that very much. That's probably because the paper has really been, been like dragging while it was drying. Okay, so I always, that's next tip, I forgot which number of tip it was, but you know, always peel away, away from your painting. Not ever like this, into the painting. Away from the painting is safer to do. But I'm just going to do that quick because I'm just removing tape on top of tape. So um, we haven't got to the difficult stuff yet. So I'm just going to do that real quick. Also, maybe you're wondering what, wondering what kind of board I use. My board is not necessarily the best. I use it because I like the look of it. It's a little bit expensive wooden board. I just, let me see if I have an empty one. I just like the look of it. That's why I have it. It's 
like wood like this that was bought in a in a I don't know what you call that actually you know a store where they have woods and tools and all that and um, then my husband cut it up for me in different sizes but you can use many different boards in general actually a board made of plastic or something that doesn't soak up water is a good thing but that's not what I have it's just if you were wondering okay now we got down to the blue tape you can see it's really an overpowering color that's why I like to mask it with the white tape but now let's get into the nitty-gritty stuff here's my tools for removing it's pretty easy a small ruler hmm? small ruler and then you need something to um, to um, what can we call it um, smoothing out the paper as you go if some little damage occurs i show you that i also have a, an older style tool for that um, it's a book binders tool i don't know what you call it in, in english because i'm danish but it's um, it's created for um, working with paper um, bending a paper i can show you it's created for folding a paper and then safely do like this that's what it's created for originally so you have a nice fold it has a, a name I'm sure in English but I don't know what okay so that's the original tool for that it's my grandfather's old tool actually you really love that one but I found out that a white Posca pen works really good for this also it ha doesn't have any color it gives off and it, it's nice and smooth so let's use that um, you can also use a knife, but I found that a white Posca pen works really well. Right, so let's go up and start in the corner. And also, um, of course, take care of your painting as you're going, not to put your hand too much on it, especially if it's uh, with pastel, which this one is. Um, so just be a little bit um, careful. But let's start, and you know, here comes the thing. Also, we're just going to do this in real time so you can see the whole process. There's going to be some repetition, but you start up in the corner and as soon as you go where you start to get into the paper, you've got to be really careful. So what I do is that, not to touch the watercolor painting with my hands, I press down a small ruler and then I peel away from the painting and slow is good because then you doesn't you don't tear up the the fibers in the paper so easily and also uh, as I said what tape you are using makes a great difference so this one is going off pretty easy but there can always be trouble areas so but what you never must do is tear towards the paper because then if if a damage occurs the damage will go into your painting if you drag away from your painting the damage tends to be out in the white area and that's not as problematic so you just work your way slowly like this you can fold the the tape over so you have a um, like a handle here you can you can pull and then you just go nice and slow we're gonna do this in real time so you can see me get the whole way around and also um, typically um, the fibers in the paper is um, lying in there in one direction or the other usually it's this way or that way it can be a little bit hard to know because the paper can could have been cut up in different ways in, in the factory but usually there's one side that is more tricky than the others. That's what I found. So you have to be careful and don't get, uh, <laughs> you know, don't get like, oh, it goes well, I'll just do it fast. Because suddenly you come, you, oh, that was slipping a little bit. Suddenly uh, a trouble area comes and then you need to really slow down. But I'm gonna show you up front if a little tear occurs what I do is I simply 
smooth it out with a clean Pasca pen. I simply polish it until you can't see it. I do have a little bit of color here that's not so good. Definitely not so good. I'll take another one without any dirt on it. And then you simply polish that area. Does that make sense? You simply polish that area. If an area occurs where the fiber stands up, you can polish it like this. That works super well. So that's the that's the that's the basics of it. You remove really really carefully. And also if you use more cheap tape, um, sometimes the glue tends to stick to the paper. I can see the glue is sticking a little bit here, but if I lift carefully and slowly, then the glue makes it like a string and then in the end it tends to slip off the paper. But you just go slow and just work your way around the painting. So that's kind of it. Let's see. It goes well. Then you get down in the corner here. This piece of tape goes over the other one, so that's an easy one. So, like that. Ah, that's nice. Then we come to the next section. We're gonna do the same thing. And let's see how that goes. Now the painting starts to be more loose. It gets even more important to press down a little bit on the painting, a little bit on the tape, so it can't tear off. It really helps a lot. You can see here comes the trouble. Here we can already see that the paper tends to tear off. Can you see that? There's a little white spot here and there's nothing I can do about it. It does tear off some of the paper going off here. You can see that. There's nothing I can do about it. But now I know that this is the trouble. This is the trouble side of the painting. So we need to go super carefully. But it came originally from the edge. Can you see that? It started out at the edge and then it went into the painting. So that's also a tricky thing. So, but all I need to do here is either with my uh, traditional tool here, I simply polish this area a little bit and then you really barely can see that a damage was ever there. Like that. Just remember it needs to be something that doesn't give off any color and then you gently uh, just uh, polish it a little bit. That helps. That's a small damage and doesn't make any difference in the large scheme of things, right? But now we know. Uh, um, and just go really slow here. Yeah. You can see here it has a tendency to rip off a little bit here. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it. And also the the glue is sticking a little bit to the tape to the paper. But just go slow. Just go slow. So that if any problems occur, that you're you like you're in control. And never ever tear towards the painting then it can't go all that wrong. And if something starts to go wrong, just slow down in like super slow motion. Super slow motion. And then... Um, then you get more in control. If for some reason you start to have a tear that comes from inside the painting. It's very rare. If you do it like this, it practically never happens. What you can do is also you 
you place the ruler, oh I'm sorry I'm a little bit down in the corner here, uh, you place the ruler along the tape like this and press down. That's also a super safe way to, uh, to do it because then you really protect the fibers tearing off the painting. Can you see that? So that's also one way you can hold the ruler as you go, if it's necessary. That's also super safe, um, what can we say, Hand, you know, position to do it in. Do it in. Stains. Okay, so this piece of tape was going underneath the other one, so I had to tear it off like this. And then let's see how it goes. So here is also a little bit of trouble area. So I need to go gently into that. So I'm just uh, take peeling off the wood without moving into the paper area. That needs to be done more carefully. Then I go super slow here and see how it goes. I think I'm gonna put the ruler here so I have some control. And then I gently repeat what I already showed you going around. But it's, it seems to go well. And then I just continue. Step by step, little area by area, just peeling very gently and see how it goes. Nothing, you know, dramatically pulling and so, then it's gonna be fine. I don't, I'm not, and you can see this works because I'm not having any trouble with the fiber tearing off. And if I have, Go slow, go super slow motion, and then if you have a trouble area like I have over here, you can find, you just, just gently um, polish it with something that is uh, hard and, um, what can you say, even in the surface, and just gently polishing that area so the fiber like gets down into the paper again. That should do the trick. But if you follow this process, you're simply gonna have minimal trouble with that. So you're gonna have minimal trouble with that, plus you have a remedy for if you have small trouble areas. And just be patient, you, you can't do this fast. I mean, we've already been here for 20 minutes almost. Oh, 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 here comes a little trouble area. Okay, so I can detect a trouble area starting here and then I just go super, super, super slow. Can you see that? Then it actually stopped. Can you see that? You have a little white patch there, but because I went super slow motion, it kind of um, stopped pulling off. And then I can just polish that area a little bit and no one ever knew it was there. Right, so this also needs to be done slowly. I can see that now. We're almost there. So it's like, I don't know what that angle is, but it's it's like, what, I don't know, 30 degree angle or something? I can't remember. We could measure that, but I, I, you know what I mean. You have an, I, like an diagonal here, where you have like a right angle here, and then you have this second angle here. That kind of works really well. And then we just continue nice and slow. And you can see if I didn't have the ruler there, the paper would lift more and it, that gives more risk of tear offs. So just be steady and keep up the good work. Nothing dramatical. Oops, trouble area again. 
so we slow down. I pull, put the, the tape down flat here and then just peel super, super slow to minimize the damage. But you can see I do have a damage here, but never mind. It doesn't go in and ruin the painting. And I just go and uh, polish it a little bit and then really, you know, all is fine. But the slower and more mindfully you go, the smaller the damages will be and you can detect them the moment they start and try to minimize them. That's it. So that's kind of my go-to process for safely removing tape, masking tape from a watercolor painting. You can see here I'm just starting a little bit here so that I can finish this one. You can see trouble areas starting there so I just go super duper slow to minimize. That went well, it just was a very small damage. It doesn't really have any bad influence at all. And just polishing a little bit, either with whatever tool you have in your household that you know meets the need, and just go polish. But if you need to buy one, I recommend white Posca pens. They work fantastically for this. Good. So we are almost done now. Let's take the last area. And now the painting is really loose, you know? So it gets more and more important to keep the painting in control. And we just go slow. So that's the safest way I know for removing uh, tape from a watercolor painting or from watercolor paper in general, no matter how you paint it on it. Um, as I told you in the beginning of the video, my name is Ida Anderson Lang. I am an artist, a visionary artist from Denmark. I've been painting with watercolor and had my first watercolor, you know, uh, my first time I went to to learn watercolor was back in in the beginning. Yeah, I think it was in the the end of the 80s actually. When I was a teenager, and I I've been working with watercolor for many many years. I've been trying all kinds of traditional, uh, more modern techniques for watercolor, also working with uh, gummed tape. But I have moved over to, to working completely with this blue painter's tape, which I find works really, 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 really well. And it peels off really, really well, as you can see. And uh, that's how I do it these days. And I've done that for some decades now. And uh, voila! We are done! Ah, that's really nice. I've been really waiting to do this. It's so nice to peel off the, the tape and see the painting be like freed up from the tape. So let's remove the board underneath also and ah, just look a little bit on the painting. That was really nice. Super simple, right? A ruler, some kind of polishing tool, some patience and a little bit of good um, habits with the handwork. So, that's kind of it. I thank you so much for watching this in-depth video about removing watercolor, uh, <laughs> removing tape from watercolor paper in a safe and effective way. It kind of works every time. So I really uh, am happy that I could show you this. Um, once more, my name is Ida Anderson Lang. I teach art online and um, I'm really happy to have you here. If you uh, go to the text beneath this video, you're going to find a link to uh, how to sign up for my free 
intro tutorials. I have a lot uh, to show you in depth art making with mixed media techniques, watercolor, color pencil, um, pastels, drawing, classical drawing, and you can access it all from the link below this video. Or you just go to Ida and I'll see you there and happy, happy painting to you.